let's see how to install Flutter on Linux. Let's go to the Flutter website by typing Flutter in Google. Then uh, we have to click on the first link and we can go in Get Started. There we have to choose our OS, Linux, and uh, then we have to click into the Flutter Linux table. We have to save these files. I will jump this part because it will take a little bit to download. And the other file that we will need is the Android SDK. So we'll type Android SDK and we will go into the first uh, link. We have to click into download, accept, download. After, after downloading the files, we have to open up a new terminal window and we have to go into the directory where we have downloaded the files. Um, for example, now I'm in downloads and there is my packages. So we have to unpack our packages using char-xwf uh, and the name of package. So, so we will start with Flutter and you will find all these commands in the written tutorial that we'll find into the video description. So we will do the same thing for the Android Studio package. And then uh, what we have to do right now, after unpacking them, we will have two folders with the unpacked uh, applications and we have to move them into the, the OPT folder so we will have a clean installation. And uh, to do so we will write sudo move flutter and we will point to the OPT folder. And we have to do the same thing for the Android CD folder. And um, after doing that, we will have to change the directory into OPT. And you will find our files moved here. Now, let's enter into the Flutter folder, the bin folder, so uh, we can create a symbolic link. Why? Because right now, we are not able to use the Flutter uh, command in uh, all uh, places as you can see if I type flutter it will not find it so we have to go back into the flutter folder and we will type we, we, we will have to type sudo ln dash o uh, dollar sign pvd click the tab button so it will auto complete the path and we will add Flutter in the folder where the symbolic link uh, uh, need to point that is as bin and uh, we, we have to type Flutter because we want to type Flutter when we want to call this package so if right now we type Flutter it works perfectly as you can see so now we have to do the same thing for the other package, the Android Studio package, and um, as before, we have to enter the folder, enter the bin folder, and we will find the studio sh file that is the file that we have to call. So, as you can see, another time, if I type studio, it will not get recognized. Uh, so, we will have to go back in our bin folder and create the symbolic link doing sudo ln dash s dollar sign pvd press the tab button so it will auto complete uh, studio dot sh and the folder s bin and the name that we will uh, we want to give to our our command when we are in other places so after that we have to run Android Studio, go with the installation and at the end press finish. So before continuing, if you type uh, the command flutter doctor, we can see um, the 
the status of our flutter installation and uh, what we need right now is installing flutter plugin and the dart plugin inside the android studio so let's open up uh, let's create a new project uh, it doesn't matter what kind of project you create so i will go with no activity next finish and after opening up we have to go inside file settings and click on the plugins we have to look at the flutter package and click on the install button uh, after installing it we have to research our ide now we are able to create a flutter project so we have to click into new uh, new flutter project uh, and into the flutter sdk path we have to choose the opt folder where we have uh, moved uh, our flutter installation as you can see and we have to select the base folder so opt flutter okay next finish and now uh, we are creating our flutter project as you can see uh, we have no devices right now you, we have to create one to do so we have to go into tools fd manager and let's choose uh, uh, any device i prefer a pixel 2 next we have to download the operative system uh, accept next now i will jump this part as you can see after finishing uh, the installation we have this error here dev cave web device permission denied to resolve this problem uh, we have to uh, simply open up a new terminal what we have to do is first of all to check the kvm group by doing grab kvm etc group and as you can see right now i have already added my user into the kvm group and you can see it at the end after the two dots to do so we have to do to insert sudo add user dollar sign user kvm as you see uh, now it writes the user chosen is already a member of kvm after doing that we have to type again grab kvm edc group to check that uh, uh, to check that the our user has been added to the group and then we have to type su dash dollar sign user so we will uh, log out and log in again and uh, if it doesn't work uh, you can restart your computer as i did so after restarting it if you click up uh, into no devices you are able to select uh, the installed device and uh, after doing that it will uh, load up and as you can see you will not find any problem but before uh, going into the debug mode and start the application we have to run this command here flutter doctor android licenses to um, and we have to accept the licenses of google or it will not work so after typing this command here we have to press y3 and as you can see uh, now uh, printing out uh, flutter doctor it will show that everything is okay except vs code that if you want you you can see in the next tutorials okay now it's loading up let's try uh, to do a simple hot reload to see and to be sure that everything works correctly and as you can see, 
it changes the color into green.